So good afternoon, everyone. I am here to give you the presentation on application and validation of likelihood based approach in forensic facial recognition using morphometric indices. So these are the contents: introduction, aim, and objective, methodology, results, conclusion, and references. So now this is introduction. <coughs> Sorry. So the facial comparison is a very challenging task in forensic uh, personas nowadays, as we have so many algorithms available on the internet, but still uh, it is very difficult to validate those, uh, uh, those algorithms because we have deep learning models, we have machine learning model for the facial recognition, but um, it is very difficult uh, to validate those uh, deep learning model on the basis of uh, uh, some uh, validation process like some of uh, statistical approach. So in our study, I introduced a, statist a statistical approach. Uh, so as we already know that the video footage is received in the lab on so many occasions to compare the face of a person in that uh, footage with that of the suspect. And uh, as we already know that in the forensic situation, the examiner have suspects uh, uh, as a, as an image, and it is to be established if the question uh, kind of is a questioned face in the digital images or video matches the face in the image of the sub uh, subject. So the morphometric features vary widely with the variation of poses, and this intra-subject variability may sometimes be comparable with the intra-subject variations, making it difficult to give a matching or non-matching approach. So in, our, in my study, I would like to introduce the facial identification involves the study of the faces for uh, forensic uh, purposes using different analytic techniques, such as uh, material analysis, like measurement uh, from one landmark to another landmark, and the morphological analysis shape of the features. So as it is very difficult to compare the morphometric indices due to pose variation in the images that we have received uh, in, in the forensic lab. So some statistically reliable method is required for face comparison. So aim of the study is to uh, test the applicability and the validation of the likelihood ratio approach that we have introduced for person identification from a face morphometrics. So this is the methodology. As a total of 400 images from 40%, like 20 male and 20 females were selected from the face scrub database. And now the, this face scrub database uh, is usually available under some uh, creative common license. So only 10 images per person were used in our study that had various uh, poses, background, attire, and elimination. So as we already know that uh, the face detection, the system, uh, this, uh, the system detects face, faces and images and perform a face uh, wrapping. So we created our own algorithm on the basis of HOG. That is a sort of histogram of oriented uh, gradient. So this algorithm detects faces in the image and perform face wrapping and the face encoding. As the pose of the detected face can be different, the face wrapping process normalizes the face from side to front. Now we introduce a Python program uh, that was created to read the images and mark a set of 11 morphometric ratios from the facial image. I will show you some. So these are the facial indexes. These are the facial landmarks, you can call uh, facial landmarks. For the analysis of photographs, measurements were taken between the 11 standard biometric landmarks of the face and the different indices were calculated on the basis of these indices. And uh, after the calculation, uh, we stored the data in the Excel sheet for further uh, analyze analyzing and also store the data uh, in the CSV file for applying the R in that procedure. So, sorry. So these are the uh, 10 images of one particular person having a different uh, pose variation. And this is the position of the 68 landmark. So in our study, uh, in our study, uh, basically uh, we, uh, getting the idea of 
calculating the CC8 landmarks by installing the DLIB library. And this DLIB library is basically used for the detection of 68 landmarks and it is an open source library. Everybody can use that. There is no license required for this. So on the basis of six, uh, 68 facial landmarks, we calculated the, the various indices, various index uh, in, the, uh, in the Python code. So we introduced, now we introduced the likelihood ratio approach and why we need the likelihood ratio approach because we have so many algorithms available on the internet which is generally uh, calculate, uh, which is generally used uh, sort of used uh, like, uh, which is generally used uh, to detect the person from a population for a particular person it means we have a one image of a suspect and we have thousands of images from other population we can easily uh, detect uh, the person from that population by using the deep learning mo model but in our study due to interpersonal uh, variability and the typicality of the indices in the population it is important to consider the likelihood ratio modeling so hello may i audible Okay, okay. So, uh, what is likelihood ratio? So, the likelihood ratio for an index of a particular image is defined as the ratio of the probability of this index, means particular index, given that it belongs to the same person, to the probability that it belongs to the other person in the population. So, basically, likelihood ratio worked on the two hypotheses. First hypothesis is same person hypothesis and second is different person hypothesis. If the likelihood ratio, the value of the likelihood ratio is greater than one, it supposes the same person hypothesis means the face image was determined to belong to a particular image. And if the value is less than one, it supposes the different person hypothesis or if the value is equal to one, it is the uh, decision threshold, uh, decision threshold. So uh, now in our study, we also validate the likelihood ratio approach uh, by using, uh, by calculating the true positive and false negative identification rate. So this is how we calculate the false positive rate. So we have the likelihood ratio of uh, images and we stored the likelihood uh, ratio of the images in the Excel sheet. And after, after those likelihood uh, values of likelihood uh, images, uh, we uh, calculate the average and standard deviation of a particularly one subject. So for the uh, calculating the false positive or true negative, we, the indices that we already calculated in our study, uh, the indices of uh, 400 images corresponding to the 40% was evaluated 40 times, each time using the mean and standard deviation of one subject. And this resulted in 400 same source comparisons and 15,600 different source comparison. So if the value now, uh, for the validation of likelihood ratio process, if the values of true positive and false positive may be high or low, it indicates that the image of a person can indeed be separated from the image of others based on automatic competition and the selection of uh, facial indices. So this is the result and discussion. In, in this uh, table, the statistically of uh, the indices is some data statistics we introduce. In this table, uh, those we have already calculated the index. Uh, this table shows how these uh, sort of uh, indexes are normally distributed. So this is a Bob of slot, which we are created in the R. And this shows how the facial index is normally calculated, how the mouth width index is normally calculated. And, and we have calculated these indexes for around 11 index in the above slide. So yes, now the selection of independent uh, so, uh, indices, sorry. So the correlation test will also, as uh, see, <clears throat> as in this study, we have 11 facial indices. But now we can calculate that which facial indices is more reliable in a study. So we can uh, correlate these indexes with each other. And we uh, concluded that the nasofacial width index has high co correlation with nasal index and lip index is correlated with the mouth height index. 
and the naso facial index with upper lip thickness and the lower lip thickness index and the chin uh, chin index are finally the lower lip thickness index and lower lip thickness index are highly correlated and these correlation figure like three indices like naso facial index naso uh, naso facial width index and lip index were dropped because the likelihood ratio calculation as this would be misrepresented uh, the lr value of a particular image of the subject so now we segregate the data via likelihood uh, ratio so the lr of the all the images in the data set using the facial indices which are used to test uh, whether the image is co correctly assigned to groups involving the images of a same person so using the uh, criteria of this criteria likelihood ratio greater than 1 for positive assignment of uh, uh, image in its correct group so we have concluded that we have 400 images from which 343 out of 400 images were correctly identified and also uh, we calculate the average uh, true positive rate of our study is 85.75% and the false negative rate uh, in our study is 14.25% was achieved so now the conclusion so the approach involves an automated landmark detection and facial uh, indices selection strategy, uh, strategy which address the limitation of manual landmarks as i earlier said this so the likelihood ratio approach which is logically correct approach for evidence interpretation and is statistically well grounded considering that face image even those belonging to the same person uh, will have variation so with a systematically constructed forensically uh, relevant database that captures the variability to a great extent as such an approach has potential extension toward facial identification with improved performance so these are the references and thank you